Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Bailey! Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey, good to see you again. Uh, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So, you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. <laughs> no doubt. Thanks, baby. Hey, I don't care about Udina's location on the map right now. You're on the Normandy, right? What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview. Even better. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot long. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay. We've recruited somebody. War asset required. Equi acquired. Blah, 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 blah. I can speak. I really can. Hello, Commander. Hey, Avina. Welcome to the Citadel. This is Docking Bay D24. Note. That due to recent events, official identification and weapons clearance may be requested by CSEC personnel for routine verification. Any other important areas I should know about? Docking Bay E24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons has been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. What's with the heightened security? New screening fields have been <laughs> what do you think? in order to speed up processing at the security stations in each docking area. Citadel security screening technology uses highly advanced biometric authentication systems developed by the CERTA Foundation. Please note that any attempt to circumvent Citadel security measures will result in immediate incarceration. What else is in the area? You are standing in docking area D24. According to your biometrics file, you are cleared to access further information about this bay. This is the airlock currently assigned to the system's alliance ship, Normandy. If you look out the bay window, you can see one of the many magnificent vistas for which the Citadel is renowned. What about that room over there? The waiting area is for those who wish to speak to our new arrival. 
It is located next to security processing. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Ah. So nice to see Avina again. Anything? Nothing? Okay. It's been a while since I played. What a memorial! tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital bed. Someplace I'm secure. I could have a gun bed, right? And no humans. Wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. We don't trust them. No, it's not that. How am I? What, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Yeah, it's going to come into play later, everybody. That's why I stopped right there, because uh, stuff about to happen. Metagel capacity. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? Okay. All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Huh. Dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. I'll buy it because I don't know what else is what else it's for, so Hello, Commander Shepherd. Welcome to Huerta Memorial Hospital. The human specialist medical officer in charge is Dr. Michelle. Also, please note that specialists for all known Citadel species are on call. Please ensure that you observe proper decontamination protocols at all times while in this area. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking bay E24 has been repurposed into temple. If you wish okay. to contact your speed, the Presidium Commons has been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. You can really cover treatment for any kind of species here? Puerta Memorial surpasses all requirements needed for any multi-species medical facility. This facility's attendant levels can also replicate living conditions needed to accommodate other, more exotic species. Aquatic environments, for example, are available on short notice. What about the medical staff? How do they deal with so many species? All personnel are required to undergo mandatory and regular psychological evaluations, as well as refresher courses. Hospital administration understands how difficult it can be for staff to deal with such a wide variety of patients. It is imperative they be offered the support needed to retain their current high standards. Where'd the hospital get its name? It is named after President Christopher Huerta of Earth's United North American States. The donor who requested the tribute expressed the desire to remain anonymous. Okay. What else is in the area? The Huerta Memorial Hospital has experts from every major race and residency, with many specializing in Xeno medicine. The facility works with prestigious medical universities from around the galaxy, offering internships to residents and nurses. With access to cutting-edge technology and support from major pharmaceutical companies, the hospital ensures the best care to its patients. Thank you. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Here's Shepard now. Dr. Chocolates, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wars, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Kate took the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. 
How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes. Oh, Though she's I suppose better. if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Keep doing what you're doing with Alliance R&D. We need our best minds at work, giving us every advantage possible. I'm a field doctor, Commander, not a research scientist. Eden Prime, the Battle of the Citadel, defeating the Collectors. We've been through too much together to let it end now. Let me serve on the Normandy. Please, Commander. Hackett and the Alliance need you right here. Very well. Be careful. Goodbye, Shepard. Goodbye, Doctor. Oh, and please be sure Joker takes his medication. He can be so forgetful. <laughs> now, that may have upset her uh, a little bit. But the reason we did that... Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and the Starks. Now I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. How is Kane doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just under all. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. We could use a doctor of your caliber on the Normandy. I'm honored you'd consider me, but I do have responsibilities here. The Normandy may be the key to winning this war. If we fail, all could be lost. You'd make a huge difference out there with us. More than you can ever do here. Well... Our staff is... The Presidium would be in good hands. I pack my bags and tell Dr. Arrington she's received a promotion. I'll see you on the Normandy, Doctor. See you there. I just need to make a few more preparations. Now, there's a reason we did that. Um, Michelle is now our doctor, and Chakwas is now a war asset. So that helps towards our final numbers in the end fight. And we actually saved Michelle. Later on, stuff happens and she doesn't make it. This way, she still survives and becomes a war asset. Now, the reason we're running back and forth double check this one again is you get missions based on overhearing uh, overhearing certain things so hopefully oh, they don't need anything Hi, doctor didn't expect to see you again so soon well we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics but when I ship out
Yeah, if you find a conversation in passing, it'll lead to a side mission, so it's good to kind of walk around and see what's going on. That looks so unnatural. Hey, kid. I don't know if you can hear me. But since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm going to take my chances. Don't die, Katie. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again, it reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. If you need anything, though, let me know. Come on, Kate. Fight. And that's an order. <laughs>